Hi, I'm Kevin from Kevin's Corner. I'm also the racing sports director at Samstown and Cannery. Um, we've been doing these tutorials uh, for the beginning racing sports book better. Uh, we think some of this might help you. I know it will. And some of that fear is in the terminology and the words we use. So today we're going to go over four things. Point spreads, money lines, run lines, and totals. First, point spreads. Well, that means one team's favored by a certain amount of points. Uh, Detroit Lions are minus seven over the Chicago Bears. That means the Lions are favored by seven points. Minus is always the favorite, okay? Plus is always the underdog. So that would be the point spread. So if you bet the Lions in that scenario, you'd have to win by seven or more to cash a ticket. If you took the Bears plus the seven, you could lose by seven and still get your money back or win your bet. So that's how that works. Then there's a thing called a money line. That means straight up, okay? So when you come to the counter, you'll need to tell the clerk money line. Otherwise, they're just gonna give you the point spread, okay? So if you come up and say, give me the Lions, okay? They print your ticket and you're gonna say, what's this minus seven? Well, you didn't say money line. They're gonna automatically give you the bet with the point spread unless you clarify. So money line means straight up. So if you bet the favorite, you don't have to cover those points, but it's gonna pay a little less. If you bet the underdog, you don't get any of those points, but it's gonna pay a whole lot more on your bet. It's really kind of as simple as that. Remember, clarify what you want at the counter, okay? Then there's a, a bet we call a run line. Uh, we usually attach that to a baseball game most of the time. And most of the time, it's always minus one and a half, the favorite. You can get better odds, a better payout, if you laid the run and a half with the favorite, but then you gotta win by two or more, okay? But it'll pay better than if you just bet them straight up. On the other hand, on the flip side of that, you could take the underdog and get a run and a half. So if your team lost five to four, you'd still win the bet, okay? Because you're getting a point and a half. Then we'll go into totals. It's also referred to as over and under. So every game, most every game, will have a total attached to it. So a baseball game might be nine and a half. That's the total runs between the two teams, okay? You can bet over that or under that. So if you had under nine and a half and the score was 5-4, you were a winner. If it was 6-4, 10 runs, you were a loser. Okay, so you can bet over that or under that. I hope that's a good start for you.